Okay, so this is a ride up Burma Road with height and Rick and Cisco and Ed and Harry and So we're starting out by heading uh, parallel to Burma Road. is exploring so the fact that we don't know where we're going is really not a big deal. This is what we're now calling Vern's Pond, after uh, Height's son Vern, who uh, managed to come down it and wheelie the bike and rip the rear fender off um, about a year and a half ago. So it's pretty steep and very rocky, and as you'll see, I have a lot of trouble with it just up a bit. rocks and proceeded to dig a hole. Uh, had to lift the bike out of the hole. Bring on it the rest of the way. We will revisit this hole later on. This is a dead end. It's like a camping area that people use back in the woods. But, uh, so we'll loop around and let everybody gather up and then head on to the next part.
this trail is up to the north of uh, where we were. We've crossed Burma Road and cutting down along a big field. Um, moderate downhill. And then we'll uh, come up and cut off into the right, into the woods again. Slogging up over these rocks is, is pretty much hard work, so uh, doing this riding is getting me, getting me worn out, uh, which is not really a great thing. It's a little bit too rocky and, and challenging to be fun, but we'll get through it. That's too gnarly for me. Let's take this one. I want to try something that's easy for a minute. Now, of course, I have no idea whether this is actually easy or not because we've never ridden in this area, but it looked mellower.
it's just uh that was a little too much on the challenge scale for me Try to get out of the deep woods a bit. The problem with the deep woods was the trees block all the wind and there were an awful lot of bugs out there trying to eat us for breakfast so uh, while out here there's sunlight it's uh, got a little ch more chance for wind. Parts of that trail were posted, so we turned around. We're going to head back to Burma Road, and then we're going to get, head back down to the area we recognize. And this is actually the same um, trail section that we headed out on onto Burma Road earlier in the day. So we're heading back in the same basic area. This is actually coming down Burns Hill again, and that's the same hole that got caught in going up. In fact, it's probably the hole I made. Uh, you would think going downhill I would not run into a hole, but... I'll try it.
survive that without any problem. And then we're cutting, Heights decided to take us down the uh, Plateau 2 climb, which I've managed to make it up once with help from Rick and Height in, on an earlier ride. Um, but I've never actually made it, you know, without stopping and getting help. And it's pretty steep and very rocky uh, and a bit loose, so it's not my idea of a great trail, but at least I know where this one's going. I'm wearing new boots the first time I wore them, and uh, I haven't quite figured out how to find the rear brake pedal, which of course makes these downhill rocky trails even more uh, of a challenge. Now, this is a pretty steep old section, I mean, substantially steeper than, than the prior sections, but I've had trouble on that in the past going up it, but it wasn't, wasn't a big deal coming down. And here we are in the basic, basic plateau area where I've caught up with the guys. And now I'm going to go take my usual route from the plateau down to the main uh, east-west highway, Eagle Creek Road. And about a month ago I came up here and did a lot of tree trimming branch cutting to make it easier to get on the trail, but it's grown back pretty quickly. As you can see, so I'll have to come back with my slippers and chop off some more. Okay, Height, how do you get to the uh, tree cutting place? This is the um, kind of challenging little section where you have to go around because of the main road washed out. So there's been a new trail cut in. That's a quick short section and then this is kind of a long uphill. pizza joint and we're going to cut to the back of the Home Depot and then get back on the RAC land. I'm going to go up to the top of the overlook so the, so the guys can see back down here into the valley and see the town and all that. section. 
She hasn't succeeded in parking me in the trial room yet, so I probably will have to get a little more comfortable than Blake to watch him fall down a couple more times. The climbs are off this uh, cliff to the, to the left. There's Hike coming up one of the first ones. And that's the one that's a little more challenging that Hike's going to try now. You can see he's got the front wheel skimming off the ground and his feet are not on the pegs. He lost traction. But he did. Uh, Good dismount! Instant replay with it zoomed in a little bit more. Um, he wasn't hurt, the bike wasn't hurt, and he uh, just turned it around and uh, took the other path back up. A little, little easier. Here's a set of uh, flats and trails off to the right of that area, which we had not explored before. It's a new trail that I've not seen. Uh, a couple of the guys ahead of us, they're coming back down. That's probably Harry and Nick. And there's a big trail going up the side that, that is worthy of an exploration. You know, some Sometime we come back here. This is coming down from the. Uh, Shall we go? From the Home Depot overlook, and there's a new trail that Cisco noticed. So I'm going to try. Uh, try it. I've never done it before. Well, that wasn't uh, a big success. Lost my momentum, didn't have any traction. Well, it doesn't like me, but I'll wait here for you. So after Cisco went up the hill, he hooked up with Height up at the top, and so I'm cutting across uh, one of the intermediate trails. Heading over towards the big valley with the uh, the two uh, cross climbs. We don't usually go this direction, we usually climb up this hill. So I'm looking at it and seeing the, the big loose rocks and, and trying to figure out uh, what the best line is, but it's mostly just bounce down over the hill and cut around the puddle at the bottom. So there are two parallel trails on the sides of the valley went over, as you can see in the, in the distance, and this one, they both go down the sides of the valley. Then off to the right, you can see one of the climb trails, and there's another one right here. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for the guys to come by. 
guys. So I'm going to follow height down the hill, but I'm having trouble getting started, so it takes me a little while. Pretty healthy climb, but there's good traction. The bike just carries me on up. So this is the trail that's parallel on south side of the valley. We're just heading back to uh, Meetup Point. decided they want to climb this little hill just before they uh, reload up. So I'm going to wander over and watch them. I think I'm going to skip the steep side where they're going, then I'll, I'll take the easy ride up and pop up to the top and meet them on the hill. There goes Rick, here comes Height. And we're pulling into the trailer, and that's the end of the show.